Hey guys, welcome back to my Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial series. Today I'm going to be covering how to edit and add slash remove custom viable upgrades for your player at home. Now what that means is when you normally buy a player at home in Skyrim, you can then upgrade it uh, section by section. So a better upgrade which will replace the old bed, add a better one, add new wardrobes and desks of drawers and different things. So what that means is Let's say, for example, uh, we want to edit the Solitude Proud Spire Manor so that when we purchase the alchemy upgrades, a satchel will appear on the alchemy table for us to store our ingredients in because by default you don't get one. Equally, if we want to change it so that something doesn't appear when we purchase an upgrade, we can also do that. And we can change it so that something will just be there by default whether we upgrade a section or not. We can reverse it, so that, let's say, um, I'll give you an example, if I go into the actual Solitude Proud Spire Manor. So we go there, when you get warnings, just click yes to all. You get warnings all the time in the creation kit, they're not important, don't don't worry about it, it's, it's fine. Uh, just press A on the keyboard to turn the lights uh, up so that we can actually see. If you want to hide something that's in the way, click on the object, double click one on the keyboard. It was just hidden, it's still there. If you want to bring it back, just hold Alt on the keyboard and press one, and you'll bring all of these things back. So if we just hide all of these because they're in our way, we can hold control and left click all of these to select multiple ones and we hide those. So, now, let's type in satchel here and then go down and press the all button without the little dash in front of it. That would make sense. There we go. So we'll just drag in treasure alchemy satchel rare. And you, you we want to put it wherever you want. Uh, just make sure it's like not floating in the air or anything. And, you know, just, just because this is an example, we'll quickly just stick it there. I mean, we could be prettier about it, but that's fine. Now, by default, the way this is now, this will just be here. Whether or not we've purchased the upgrades, and even after we do, this will stay here. We don't really want that because the alchemy station, by default, is not going to be here. So this is just going to be very strange, strangely just randomly floating in the air. So if we double-click this and we go to the Enable Parent tab, we go to the cell window and we type in Solitude PR for Proud Spire Manor because we have to set it for the cell that we are in. And then in the reference, Solitude PR, and it will bring up all of these, Decorate Alchemy, Decorate Bedroom. Now these, we select Alchemy because this is the Alchemy section and that's what we want it to appear after we buy that specific upgrade. So we've set that. So now when we buy the Alchemy upgrade, this will appear just like the other stuff. That's all you need to do. So now that will appear when we've bought the alchemy upgrade for this home. Equally, when we buy the alchemy upgrade, these sacks will disappear. Now, obviously, you're probably not really going to want these sacks, but this is just an example. Let's say we want these sacks to not disappear. Now, we go back, we double-click on it, go back into the Enable Parent tab, and it's set up exactly the same, except this box is ticked. This box means it will, if we, tick, if we untick this, this won't be here, and it will appear when we purchase the alchemy upgrades. So we could leave it like that. Uh, and if this box is ticked, then it will be here, and when this is purchased, this respective one here, then it will disappear, because it's set to the opposite of the parent. So, if we want that to not disappear, we want that to appear when we buy the alchemy upgrades, we just untick this box. Simple as that. So this sack will not be here by default when we purchase the alchemy upgrade, we'll get everything like we do normally, except we'll get an extra sack, and this satchel. So there you have it. It is as simple as that. That is the way you can customize what you want your player owned home. And just for reference, if we press M on the keyboard to bring up markers, these are the markers that determine uh, what is linked to what. This, these markers represent uh, the physical, um, not physical, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but basically these are the visual repre representations of you purchasing these specific upgrades. So if you double click this one, for example, this is the visual representation of the enchanting upgrades. And you can see all these lines coming up, and these will point to whatever you get uh, when you purchase the enchanting upgrades. Equally, they will point to what gets removed. So that's not that important, but there you go. If you're copying a player at home, make sure you delete these. Press del highlight them, press delete on your keyboard. Yes, 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 yes. And it will come with these, click yes, it will take a long time, well not really, but there we go. So that makes sure the player at home is safe. Remember that's only if you're copying it, or if you want it to not have purchasable upgrades. 
For example, if we just want these things to be here by default, we can delete all of those, then everything that is in this house will be here, no matter what we do. But obviously you're not really going to want that because, for example, you're going to have things sticking through each other because by default, this that disappears when you buy the alchemy upgrade is if these are here at the same time, these are going to clash and overlap, so you need to remember that. So customize the house properly if you're going to do it, but just remember, I wouldn't suggest deleting these markers unless you've copied a player on home. If you're copying the player on home and creating a new copy of it, then delete the markers in the new home. Leave them as they are in the original one. Or equally, remember that when you are copying a player on home, to delete the NPCs that are sitting in here. Don't delete them in the original home, delete them in the new home. So for example, there's a house car here. Highlight that and just delete it. You don't want multiples of the same NPC. So there you go. That is how to edit the viable upgrades for your player and home. And you can now select whether you want something to appear, disappear, or just be there permanently. Remember, what I said about deleting the markers and deleting the NPCs only applies if you are copying that cell. If you're just editing the original one, do not delete those. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.